So today we're going to find out what's in a alarm clock. This is a pretty old one. It is Bellwood is the name brand on it. Let's see if it has any other information on the back. It says Bellwood model 1934. Doesn't look like it has a year. It's made in China. But that's pretty much it. So let's get to this. Let's take this cover back cover off. Let's take this cord off, get it out of the way. Just simple plain cord. And we'll get rid of that battery cover. There was no battery in this. As you all know, if you watch my other videos, I'm always curious as to the uh, year that is on the battery. Uh, not really sure why, just curious as to when the battery was put in that can kind of help age some of these items. Uh, you know, if there's not a date on there by chance. So I always find it a little interesting. It looks like there's only two screws on this one, so we're in the lock. Shouldn't be too bad to get apart. Knock on wood, right? I don't know that this one's actually turning. It might be, it might not be. Let's see. Yeah, it is, it's turning. Is it? Is it not? It is. There we go. Alright, so we'll get... So this, this one, there we go. I say it only unscrews when there's pressure against it for some reason. So let's flip this over and we'll take the top off. Oh yeah, all the buttons fell through. But you get the idea. So this is just plastic housing, has a little colored screen on the front that makes it look like the uh, numbers are red. Other than that, just a little plastic housing. This is the snooze button and a couple of others that fell through the little thing. They're just injected molded plastic. Get rid of some of these screws. All right, so this on the back here is a battery compartment. I'm just gonna push that wire through so we can see everything from this side. So let's take these screws off this low grade board, flip this over, and then we'll be able to see what's on the other side of it. And we'll pretty much have this whole thing exposed at one, you know, in one shot. So these little things I'm holding in my left hand are just the contacts. They have some type of, I don't know if it's aluminum, I would guess aluminum, maybe tin, uh, where the button pushed down and then completed the circuit on these uh, circuit boards. It's gonna peel each of these off. Toss those. And we'll lift this board out of here. Well, we'll lift it all out of here, it looks like. Only thing we have attached to the board, or to the case still, is the power cord. It has a little anchor here so that it doesn't get pulled out of it by accident. All right, so we got a couple screws. We'll get rid of these. And then we have the back, or the bottom plate, injection molded plastic. We'll get rid of these. And these are the meat and potatoes of it. So we have our battery, our power source comes into this low grade board. This low grade board then splits a couple different directions. It connects to the circuit board with on off function and then programming functions. This is the processor on it right here. See if you can see that. This is the speaker that makes that annoying alarm clock sound. Yeah, that's this. It's pretty amazing. This little piece of metal and can make all that racket. This is uh, the transformer, essentially, uh, inside of it. It converts the power to usable power for the appliance. They, most every appliance has one uh, of varying degrees to adjust the power uh, coming in. Uh, so if you've seen in several of my videos in the past, all that's in here uh, is a 
little wrap of copper. You can take these apart. Some people scrap them. Scrap yards usually give you about 15 cents a pound for these uh, as compared to probably what, like three cents a pound for steel. Uh, you can get more if you take all the copper apart, but you, these are a pain to get these apart. It's thin, real thin copper. You can kind of see it inside there, the shadow. Let's see my pointer right in there of the copper wrapped. It's wound around that and then coated in this epoxy with glue on it. So it's a super pain in the butt to get them out. Really the best way for you to do that is take a sawzall and cut right through, cut right through, and then you can pull them out. But still, it's not really worth it. But if you're so inclined, you definitely can. So we'll cut this power cord off the rest of the way. So the power comes into this, comes through these cords, we'll cut off, we'll get rid of this. Goes into this power, this, uh, sorry, this low grade board, and it can operate from the battery uh, that you put in there, or you can do it from the wall outlet. And like I said, it goes into this processor, goes through these, you can program it, and then when the alarm goes off, it goes to the speakers, and the power goes to the screen as well. You can see, it goes through these little pins. Let's see if I can point those out to you on the bottom here. Those are what send the messages into the screen. So pretty simple, pretty amazing. Uh, the advances that uh, alarm clocks have made over the years. Now we pretty much, most people I think use their phone for alarm clock. I, I haven't had an alarm clock in 10 plus years. I always just use my phone and it functions as that as well. It's meant as well as you know two dozen other devices. So. All right, guys. Anyway, as always, if you would, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for future videos, please let me know. I'm always looking for new ideas. Thank you. Have a good day.